Ruth here, and this lovely mystery box is from WJ's Crafting Corner. And I bought this. It was the most expensive one. Uh, $49.95 or $99. And this is 5.80 pounds worth of stuff inside. It's their D stash surprise bundle medium because they have a small and a really small one and then the medium. This was the bigger, the biggest one. And um, I'm just going to, before I forget, just going to get these out of here. As you probably know, I uh, already put these. Upside down, so you didn't see my address. But I like to keep these things for some odd reason. And I stick them in my notebook. I've opened it. Now, let's see. This arrived, well, when I'm recording this, it's the 15th of May. And this had arrived today. So let me just get this out away. It has my address. Thanks so much for helping with my D stash. Enjoy your goodies. Big hugs, WJ. Ah, $49.90. Oh, this is the proper uh, title. Yep. WJ's Crafting and Card Making D Stash Surprise Bundle Medium Flat Rate Box. Price includes shipping to the US. So, I am excited to see what's in here. Paper. I mean, technically, this is packing paper. But it's tissue paper, right? So if I fold it nicely, I can reuse it. Possibly. Hang on. Let me just do that now. Because I do like keeping things. Okay. Probably unnecessary things, to be honest, but I am going to anyway. Because so I can maybe use it in the future. Okay. Oh, this last white one is thicker than the other ones. You know, it feels like what you might use for, you know, like that. What was it called? Like deli paper or whatever? Ooh, I might try some. I'll go ink techniques on it actually. Maybe. So I just folded it up. As you can see. Nice and folded. Put it in a little plastic bag. I had packaging from something else. Well, there. So I can save this for later. Probably not. Well she had in mind. There is some stickers, auto, no, anyway, stickers, yes. Kind of like 3D-ish then. It's got some 3D parts, you know, popped up parts. Cool. Cool, cool. So we got some stickers. And we got some other stickers. Some used, not so used. Nice, nice. No, oh, not in camera now. So we got some used and not so used. So a pink alphabet and numbers. I have no idea what that is. So like a kind of a stripey color, a stripey alphabet and numbers. 
that are not used at all. Cool, cool. Let me ask some smaller of those same numbers and letters. Very nice. We got some gold. And a different font of kind of like a turquoisey color. Oh, that's a nice one right there. And some letters with it. Basically, I see a couple of each. That's cool. We got some purple and very light minty green. Very nice. I actually don't have very many letter stickers, so that's nice. Ooh. Okay, we got two squares. <laughs> okay. That's cool. A magnetic pickup tool. Retrieve small parts like nuts and bolts with this telescopic magnetic pickup tool. Oh, it's originally great for working on cars or other projects. It's when nuts and bolts and screws fall out. Whatever. Obviously, I'll be using it for dies, not. But it's, it's got a retractable, extendable bit. And it's. Powerful 1.5 pound magnet. That would be very useful for picking up for um, when I finally open my glue machine for hot foils so I don't burn myself when I pick up dies or when I want to pick up dies anyway if I lose it on my desk beside as well. But that's very useful and handy. Awesome! And we've got I have no idea. Um, is it just like... Is it beans? Sort of? I mean, it looks like... Well, there's kind of on the squishy side of beads. I guess you use them as shaker components. So we got black. We got kind of pink ish. Fusion, maybe. And then we have red and blue. With the red one and the blue one. Uh -huh. Oh, we got lots of colors. Green, gold, turquoise, darker green, and a coppery kind of color. You didn't see proper? Oh, white. Or iridescent, really. Ooh, like these are different. These look like sequins. Oh, they are. Different colored sequins. We have some purple, green, lighter green ish, turquoise, maybe blue. Or two different types of turquoise. We got some pink, red. Very nice. I don't have very many sequins. Ooh, we got some silver of these ones. What else? What else? And this is... A car... Cup coaster thing. Blank. Okay. Oh, so that's why. We've got... A black. Sublimation ink pad. Cool. Very cool.
I'll need to get heat related things. So I guess that goes with that, I think. I'll have to ask, but I think that, that goes with that. That's very cool. What else is in here? Ooh, we've got a... What is it? Hugs? Am I reading it upside down? Ooh, hugs. Ah, oh, I get it. It says hugs. Like this is on its own, and like this is a shadow die to go with this one. But this one is on its own. Hugs. That's cute. I don't think I have a die that says hugs. That's cute. I mean, if I had, let's see, I got a teddy bear kind of. Well, it's with a. Honey pot, but I don't know if it's like a teddy bear kind of die or stamp I can put hugs or big and put this in the hugs because I got I think big stamp recently and I put the hugs in the die cut and you pop it up or whatever. Yeah, that's cool, cool, cool. Awesome. What else is in here? What is this? Ooh. Counted cross stitch Christmas ornament kit. Blue balloon and coal. Blue and coal. Well, that's cute. It's a kitty with a and a wreathy kind of on a with a present and there's a wreath kind of there. And that's cool. I haven't cross stitched in a while. Ooh, sounds like it comes with a bell. That's nice. Ah, of course it comes with the balls right there. <laughs> and I see it on the back. That's cool. It's gonna be fun. If I remember, I might do a video of me doing at least some of it. Or at least the end product. <laughs> oh, what? What else is in here? Ooh. We've got a. Happy birthday to you with balloons. That's cool. That's cool. So this one, let me just put this up here. Put this one up here so I don't lose. What else is in here? So I feel something on the side. Ooh, that's cute. Got some stamps. See, just for fun, to my best friend. Thank you. This cheerful day. Oh, it's a little. Girl with a dog purse. I have no idea what that is. Present maybe? And a shoe. That's cool. I don't have any people stamps. Well, at least many. If much. Oh, there's another doggy one. Postcard. That's what it says. Especially for you. Don't be blue. Mm -hmm. Um, summertime memories. Um, I can't read that. Hang on. What does this say? At our...
the best days ever. I mean, that's not even proper English, is it? I can't tell. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. But this is the other one. The girl with a uh, picture of the dog that's next to her. Okay. Unless that's supposed to be a postcard. Oh, that's cool. Cute. What else? Lots of stuff. Ooh, almost. <laughs> Ooh. Couple recollections. Or recollections, you know what I'm saying? Color splash. Trips and soul. And this is Creative Mirror Alphabet Planner. It's two, uh, two stencils. That's cool. So that's that stencil there, and that's this one. They make them nice. They make nice backgrounds. This one. That's cool. What else? Hmm. You've got... It goes this way. Oh, the rainbow. The rainbow. I love you like unicorns love rainbows. <laughs> Sending you rainbows. With lots of stars, flowers, hearts, and a huge rainbow. That's cute. <laughs> this is a leaf, wreath, kind of die. Cool. Um, this one. I think one fell. Just now. Did it? Somewhere? I'll have to check to make sure. Because the hello there is not there. But it's cool. Nice collection of sentiment stamps. Ooh, over the moon. Okay. Well, the hello there isn't there, so it's either not there or it's, it's in the box. I think it's in the box. But we've got... Heart blue, normal blue, many below me. Like blue and string. Um. Whatever this bar is. And I'm not really sure what this dot is for. It's like a window of some kind? Are these like spore lines? Something? Or perforated lines? I don't know. I'll have to ask. I remember to ask. Don't know what it's for. That's cool. Little balloons. Anyway, here's the stamp set. That's a lot of stamps. Um, hi. I treasure your friendship. Welcome home. Good for you. Make a wish. You're the best. You're so amazing. Thinking of you. Missing you. Hey friend. Hello there, as I said, is not there. Um, you're in my heart. Praying for you from all of us. You're on my mind. Wishing you peace. Happy birthday. Wish you were here. You're one of a kind. Congratulations. Celebrating you. Get well soon. You are so kind. Uh, great, uh, forever grateful. Hello. 
Congrats. Let's celebrate. What the wishes of you with love? Thank you. Many thanks. Let's party. Did I say congrats already? Uh, with sympathy. Hang in there. You got this. Cheer up. Thanks. I'm here for you. Sending good vibes to the happy couple. You're my hero. Sending happy thoughts. Sending love over the moon. You're fabulous. Like you. In brackets a lot. Hugs and love. You can do it. I believe in you. I'm behind you 100%. Just for you. Sorry for your loss. Best wishes. Blessings. Beautiful. So awesome. That is a lot of sentiments. Let me tell you that. I'm curious where the hell... Where, where the hell there went. <laughs> I wonder if I can... If I'd be able to feel it anywhere. Oh, another cross the blank. Let me put that over here. Obviously for sublimation, it has to be a sublimation coating on the top. As it says, as Debbie says in her thingy videos. I wonder where it went, or if it's there. Anyway, we have... Ooh. Artistry. Permanent Thermal Transfer Markers to then chisel tip. Do I open it this one? Do I open it up? The mark. I really need to get some heat related things so I can play with them. That's awesome. Now what's next? What's this? What is it? Miss Sparkling Co. Envelope Liner Stencils A2 and A7 A2, A7 and Mini Liner Stencils Never heard of those before What do you do with them? <laughs> um, I'm guessing, let's see An envelope there Um, do you like just draw around it for some reason? Like for when you put the... Like if you want to put a lining in there? Maybe? I have no clue. I have no idea what you'd use it for to be honest. <laughs> but it looks interesting. Ooh, we've got a doggy stamp with pizza. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, that's funny. Ah, you're my kind of weirdo. To my favorite weirdo. Pepperoni. Or pepperoni. <laughs> Birthday, happy wolf. Party hat. This candle. This mush. There's a mushroom. Circle, which I'm guessing would be pepperoni. Pepperoni. No idea what that thing is. A heart. Some circle thing. Maybe that's chili. So. No clue. Party hat. I don't know. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I see more alphabet. Stickers. Ooh, this is another stencil thing. That looks good. Ooh, that's nice stencils. Color splash celebrations. We've got some lines there. Then we've got some wavy stuff. This is a 
color splash live love sparkle I believe that is that's lovely there's nothing oh what's this oh we got hello smile love and thanks to go with my hugs that's nice Put it there. And we've got some you got a rubber duck. One that has a hole there. It's got a flower looking up the duck, so if I put it in water, I can... Oh, that can just like that toy. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so, I know how she likes her duck thing on her twitch thing. Ooh. Oh, well, that's cool. It's her... It's her, uh... 2024 New Orleans Creativation by Manta Purple Tote Bag. That's cool. There's Bartez on the back. You never go wrong with, with tote bags. That's nice. Let's put that over there. Ooh, we got some paper. That looks like Mickey Mouse heads. Doesn't this look like Mickey Mouse heads? That's cool. We got some paper. Some pattern and plain paper. Ooh, that's that one, isn't it? Well, let's just do a handful first, so it doesn't completely fall on me. We got some of those papers. Oof, we got some flag, flag kind of papers. Oof, some on the back looks nice too. Okay, there's plain on those ones. Let's go. Got some purple. Oh, this is where to cut. Interesting. I guess to use up most of this paper and stuff. Where to cut. Interesting. Paper to walk right. Okay, so you got some pale pink kind of color. Got some pale blue on the inside though. Okay. Then we have some pink, yellow, white, and bluish, and uh, more of a masculine kind of color. So masculine, kind of fun then. These have blank on the back. We got... Okay. That, stripes, swirls, and stripes, and it goes back to the beginning. Hmm, okay. Uh, we got some purple diamond kind of 
thing going on. Well, this is a different design of cutting in the back. You got some interesting penguins. There's some dancing penguins in some of them. Okay. We got things that looks like it comes from a wallpaper. And then double sided. So this one's out on the back. And this one is out on the back. We got some squares that have this on the back. Take the squares and put them together. Put them together. So you got a brown and a dark brown. That's on the back of this one. And this one, that's on the back. So you got this. Looks like kind of leaf, leafy things going on there. So if I like, if I wanted to do a background and like have either foliage or other like prehistoric dinos or something, this would be a good background for that. Um, dinos. Got quite a few of those. I'll see you in a bit. Quite a lot of these ones too. Back to the leaf. Got some brown again. But it's just double sided. Got a a lighter brown, double sided, whatever this color is, grayish, another brown. These feel like thicker cards for right? these ones. Yeah. Yeah. And the small thing in the back is kind of. Ooh. No idea what this is supposed to be. It's so cool. It looks kind of goldish. Huh. The paper company, decorative 8.5 by 11 India Gold. Hmm. That's cool. Got some stripes. Something that looks like vinyl that you put on the floor. Kind of looks like shoelaces, doesn't it? So. Snakes can look like they do. Anyway. And more of these. These ones here uh, is a strip cut. Interesting. Quite a bit of that. I think they're probably masculine cards like this or something. And we got some dots. Okay. Interesting. Got some pale color and skin color ones. Yeah. We got some more dots. Yeah. 
Oh, the sign. Unless some yellow. Well, more than some yellow. A lot of yellow. Okay. Some stripes, some swirls, dots. Some green. Ooh, cool metallic, Arctic gold. Twelve by twelve. That's well. I was using twelve by twelve in that one. Okay, so put these over here so I don't completely drop them. Uh, uh, let's see. We got some oh, we've got some glitter on it. Um what does it say? Fairy charm thirty and five things. A little bit of pixie dust, I believe this is. Pretty little pixie. Mm, pixie's rock, believe in magic. Independent pixie, keep your wings on. I mean to fly, think tank. Not, not a princess something. Believe in magic, sparkle power, fairy charms. Well, it just goes on and on. Miss Neverland. Yeah, I just... Four of those. I know what I want. Touch and take. No, we're still floating. Okay, really sassy. I know what I want. Soar altitude. Attitude. Soar altitude. Soar altitude. <laughs> I'm from Netherlands. Loud. Loud to be noticed. There's something in front of that. I don't know what it is. I mean, you don't have to be loud to be noticed. But... Oh, that's cool. I mean, if one of us do a two, uh, is this backwards? Yes. Got some dots there, some whatever grey thing that is. Small dots. Small of that. Lots of black. That's nice. Oh, this is not. We got some polka dots. I never noticed. Is there anything on there? You got a gray or whatever that color is with the mouse on top of pile of bones. Okay, we got some polka dots. Yep, that was. Oh, this is cute. Similar to my other paper clip that I got from her. That's cute. Okay, moving off from the other one, we got white. Okay. Um, I activated Google by accident somehow. So, it stopped. 
What is it? This is not white card. Just pattern paper. We got some brown. That's some animal prints, which eh, not really into animal prints. But anyway, that's cool. I'm not sure what that's oh, Mexican kind of Mexican food, Spanish food. That's some more brown. More of that. That's some. Zebrush print, more zebra print. Oh, oh, that's why it was Halloween. Okay. I getcha. Okay. So that mouse kind of. We'll go with this. Happy Halloween, we got an owl, another mouse, bat, skulls, bones in a jar. Let the kiss the cook on the apron of Frankenstein's monster. Okay, oh, hey. and a cauldron. Okay, so that's those ones. And we got full on kind of shiny. That's cool. Oh, we got some candy corn and other candy. Yes. These are Halloween. Ah, oh, there it is. I knew this is the hello there. I kept that stamp set on the top so I can put it in there. Hopefully it will stick. There we go. Hello there is Back my blocks. <laughs> oh, one more thing, and we'll finish off with the papers. Yeah. Well, I'll have to keep it there. It's the papers are going to be instant. Ooh, we've got a smile and a circle. Reading this as well, at least I'm reading backwards. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so it doesn't go this way. I think it goes this way. We got green. We got plain green. We got some leaves. Uh, some kind of dots, maybe? Two of those. We got some flowers on a pale kind of thing going on there. We got some yellow and white swirls, plain yellow dots, plain yellow dots, lighter dots. <laughs> um, more dots. Come on, bigger. Uh, some like checkered plate. You got to say it. Lots of yellow in here. 
plain, kind of peachy color, skin tone color. Okay, you got some thing that looks like you put on some vinyl, on the vinyl floor. <laughs> got some basic plain brown. Okay, so like if you want to wear some like, tree trunks, I've got enough brown for that, or a window. But yes, that, I believe, is all the paper. <laughs> That is a lot of paper. Okay, I'm holding it so I can maybe move this. Okay, that is a lot of paper. That's a tote bag there. Got some stencils. Got A2, A7, and mini. Envelope liners? I still have no idea what to do with that. How do you use them? I mean... You don't see... You don't use it to make the envelope, right? I don't know. I have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> markers and ink pad and I guess these are blanks for that I think got a cross stitch thing got some alphabet stickers and some sequins we got all these things which I have no clue what to do with <laughs> um What do you do with them? I mean, I guess you could put them in the shaker things. Right? In the shaker things, right? I think. I don't know. I have no clue. So, a lot of these. <laughs> individually better. Very handy. Magnetic pickup tool. I have a feeling it's going to be very handy. Which is great. Alphabet stickers. Some Valentine ish kind of stickers. All of these things. Whatever they are. And a rubber duck, that looks like a flower, a heart, paper clip, and all sorts of stamps and dice. Recently, I got a, a unicorn stamp set, so that would go well with that.
these in the background. <gasps> the packaging. No. That's a cool selection of stuff. I don't know what to use first. <coughs> These are really interesting, but I need a... Uh, so can I... I can probably make... Like... Do it on... Something. Was it do it? Can I do it on paper, then... Then do the heat set thing on... On the blank after? I mean... Does it expire if you already put it on the paper and wait for however long? Oh, injections for use. Ah, create your artwork on plain copy paper using the markers. Keep in mind the final product is a mirror image, so any written text must be reversed. A sense of my help. It would probably be. Um, colors of the final mirror. Uh, the final transferred image will appear brighter than they do on paper. When drawing your image on the copy paper, be sure to protect your drawing surfaces from potential marker ink bleed by placing additional paper underneath the original. Once your drawing is complete, secure your design face down to the item you are transferring to using thermal paper. Be sure to remove any protective film from the item or prior to pressing. I don't know where you all come from, I can't read. Um, place a secured item under your heating element before adding film pressure for best results. Use a heat press or easy press. The household iron will also work. Consult the recommended time slash temperature slash pressure settings instructions provided with the item for optimal results. Uh, where am I now? Right, five. After pressing, allow item to cool before handling. Don't remove transfer tape and paper from the item to reveal your unique embedded image. Easy press and heat press recommend settings iron. Use high setting, no steam, form pressure, keep iron moving for 1-5 to five minutes. Oven for ceramics only. Use mug wrap to secure image. 5-7 to seven minutes. Heat times vary according to materials. Do not leave heating elements unattended. That's the general rule for most things. And they're all in Fahrenheit, so I'll have to use my phone to convert that. I do not, not intend it to be used on skin. Not intended to be used by children. Conforms to ASTMD-4236 pending certification patent pending. In no event shall I accompany or serve liable for any behavioral law. Okay. Transfer drawings from paper to white or light colored polyester fabric or polyester coated materials. Artist free permanent thermal transfer markers allow you to add your personal touch to everyday items such as apparel and decor using the sublimation heat transfer process not recommended for cotton fabrics. What is sublimation heat transfer process? By adding heat and pressure to your drawing. You can permanently transfer the image from plain paper to polyester products such as t-shirts, mugs, totes, socks, phone cases, the list goes on and on. That's cool. So I wonder how long would it last 
on before you can't transfer it anymore. I don't know. I have no clue. But, um, yes. And this is the, uh, Sublimation Ink Black Iron Artist Green. So I can use my stamps. I'm guessing this is the blank for this. But this fits in mom's car or my brother's car. I have no clue. But that's cool that she put in some blanks. I think that's what they are. Anyway. So yes, that's I've been Nattering on and on, as they say. That's probably a real old saying, actually. Never really heard it in this day and age. But anyway, it's got some cool bits and pieces. Lovely variation of sequins as well. Excuse me, Donnie. It's um. Oh, 11:08 p.m. Maybe that's why I'm tired of it. But anyway, it's cool that she put in a uh, cross stitch kit. I haven't done it in a while, but I do like cross stitch. Um. When I say while, I mean like way, way before COVID. So way, way before. Twenties. Wait, no. Mm, after 2010, but way before 2020. <laughs> Are you I'll just say down the middle. That's probably why I have that. Um. Anyway, yes. That's. I'm not sure what else to say, really, but that's it. And. Thank you, Debbie, for putting an awesome array of things in it. Interesting. I wonder what I'm going to make. And, and I really do wonder what these are for. I mean, I guess it could be um, for shaker cards. Maybe? I mean, I could probably cut them because they're circles, so I could cut them and then just stick a load of them. So, you know, them around with some glue, like uh, make it look like sequin, like uh, confetti or something. I don't know. No clue. My eyes are starting to get no tired right now. <laughs> Anyway, technique day is the 15th. I'll have to see when I can upload this. I'll try and shove it in my schedule somewhere. Probably it's the second video or during a Saturday or Sunday that I don't really upload on. But anyway... I do like the stamps though. Hmm. Weirdo. I like that one, it's so funny. Mm -hmm. Pepperoni. That's okay. A weirdo is my favorite on the stamp, so. Mm -hmm. And it's nice thing that you gave me two. There are two different uh, girls in different positions. So I don't really have, you know, people stamps. Which is good. Now that I got some. Well, I guess I got a bird dye that I can. Use with that. I think I've got a set of circle things that I can use this with. Anyway, enough procrastinating. I'll uh, fall asleep if I finish. Um, I guess that's it. Don't you have anything else to say? 
I might keep this in the bathroom. On the windowsill. I don't know. I mean, I got some water over there, I could. Put it in some water and use it to s something on art project. I mean, I could, but that kind of put me in control of where you squirt the water though. And it'd be very messy. I'd probably make that idea. Probably should make that idea. But anyway. I'm just... I'm tired. But lots of lovely, various, different things. I'm tempted to buy another one. Just to see what else she would say. But I probably shouldn't, right? That is tempting. But I do wonder where these stamps were from. Because I mean, they don't have a little buy or anything. Well, anyway, it's a nice, very long, big stamp set on the set of the Very nice. To include a very big stamp set there. That's one I don't even have, too. So that's cool. But then I should probably say goodbye now because I am fun or something. No, I am planning to read a little bit after this. Um, thank you for watching. And look forward to something if I remember to record. Which I probably won't. Fingers crossed. Over and out.